All right, so the NASDAQ clawing uh, back some gains. You can see it's pulling back here a little bit, but we're still up. But remember, remember, we hit correction territory yesterday, uh, and it was just a few weeks ago we were at an all-time high. That was only in November. So we're at a pivotal support point right now, and history tells us this index can recover quickly uh, with the average five-day return after these kind of things up as much as 3%. But how would you want to be positioned, uh, particularly if we do continue to rebound here? I want to bring a Rob Luna. Key. By the same token, Rob, we know these, any sort of emotional selling uh, gets excessive, and excessive selling creates opportunities. Yeah, no, it does. I mean, I, I completely agree with Keith, though, here. Like, and, I, and I don't really think that, you know, Peloton is a market leader, canary in the coal mine. You point out these things all the time, Charles. But look, there's a lot of good stocks that have gotten beaten up here. To your point, it's obviously not only up from here. But guys, look, the fastest growing companies out there. I like Amazon and Microsoft and all those. But look at some of these other names like Palo Alto Networks that continues to crush it. ServiceNow down 25, 30 percent. These are going to be next week, next month's leaders. Here's your opportunity to jump. Would in. you add the caveat, though, that can be extraordinarily volatile for anyone who, who may not know that? Yeah, I mean, look, stocks are volatile in general. It's not an asset class you park if you're looking to take it out in the next two or three weeks, right? But as we all know, stocks over the long run go up, and especially when you invest in high-quality companies. You know, it's one of the only places, you know, Charles, on Wall Street where no one wants a discount. Everyone thinks something wrong is wrong. But, you know, I've been doing this 25 years. If you buy high-quality companies down 20, 10, 20 percent, right. plug your ears, you're going to do well over the long run. And, what, Rob, uh, you know, some of these names, and maybe not Netflix, but a whole lot of really good middle-tier quality names are down 20, 30, 40 percent. Are they down so much now that you don't need to try to, quote-unquote, pick the bottom per se? Yeah, I agree, Charles. Look, and you just said the, the correction on the NASDAQ came in at 10%. A bear market's only 10% more from here, right? So if you can stomach a 10 or 15% additional decline, which if you're in this market long term, you need to be prepared to do, start picking up these high quality names now. It's impossible to tick, pick a top or bottom no matter what you hear on Twitter. No one does that consistently. Buy high quality and stay the course.